One of the best was in the steeplechase. It featured uh, the athlete formerly known as Stephen Chirono of uh, Kenya. He changed his name and his country, now Saif Saeed Shaheen, representing Qatar. And the battle for the gold, well, you couldn't pick a better one because he came up against Ezekiel Kemboy, who was still proudly running for Kenya. The two produced one of the great finishes. Saeed Shaheen changed his name, changed his nationality, now representing Qatar. The Kenyans aren't happy about it. It's a procession now. But this is a low vigil, really. Is he going to be strong enough to be able to keep this going? What a race! Well, there's Shaheen now into the back straight. He's the man from Kenya representing Qatar. Kenboy chases him. It's going to be very close indeed. They both run too quickly in the early stages. They're both suffering. Now, who's going to be the strongest? And can the water jump determine the result of this race? Well, the Spaniard is being left now. And what a run this is now. This is Shaheen of Qatar. And it's Ezekiel Kenboy. It's a Kenboy and Shaheen. Kenboy and Shaheen. And Shaheen's going to win it. And Shaheen is the champion of the world. And Kenboy takes silver. Wow. Well, it was certainly an event, Brendan, that had it all there, didn't it? Controversy, and, and what a finish. Well, it would polarise everybody. Everyone was thinking, you know, Kenya is a proper distance running nation. This guy's been bought off, so let's all cheer for the Kenyan. And coming into the finishing straight over the last hurdle, come on, the Kenyan, you know, and he's, he's clear. <laughs> and then suddenly, 30 metres from the end, like all the distance races, they, they should mark the last 30 metres, because all, all the big distance races have changed leadership in the last 30 metres. It's been incredible, you know, so it, it, it really was, it was a fascinating event. He went off at a ridiculous pace, but then to have the strength to come back and win it, I mean, he's a class athlete. If he'd been running for Kenya, we'd have been applauding him.